Hi, my name is Dr. John Duyard, and today I want to talk about copper, the amazing antimicrobial properties of copper. In fact, in 2008, the EPA deemed copper as the first antimicrobial metal. And for thousands of years, copper has been known to be antimicrobial. In Ayurvedic medicine, it was well understood and still a traditional practice to put water in a copper cup before you go to bed and then drink that water first thing in the morning. And the copper ions would infiltrate the water and have this antimicrobial effect. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm going to cite some science that is going to literally blow your mind. How powerful an antimicrobial and antiviral copper truly is, which is why Ayurveda says we should use a copper tongue scraper because when you scrape your tongue using a copper tongue scraper, it actually has antimicrobial benefits. So when you put a tongue scraper in your sink and the sink is just full of bacteria, it's only copper that will actually keep you keep the bacteria down. So these are also very important. Um, I bought my entire staff copper bracelets, so they all have a copper bracelet to protect themselves against infection. All of them have copper cups, and drinking out of copper cups is a really good idea. Okay, I know I've lost my mind, but here's some of the science to back it up. And I'm telling you, there is no shortage of studies on the benefits of copper as an antimicrobial metal. I mean, it's study after study after study if you look at PubMed or the National Institutes of Health. So here's one study. There was one study, there's 650 patients that were in the ICU, and they had 16 rooms, ICU rooms that they were measuring. Half of the rooms got copper in them, like putting copper stuff on the walls. Half the room didn't. I know, just putting copper stuff on the walls doesn't make any sense. But in that study, after uh, one year, 83% reduction in healthcare acquired infections. And that, these are just infections that brew on things because of all the bacteria and viruses that, are, that are accumulate in hospitals. 83% reduction. Another study, they had one wing. This is after many, many studies that have been done. They took an entire wing of a hospital and they lined the sheets with copper. They put copper stuff on the walls and the other wing of the hospital, they didn't do anything. And the results, again, were astonishing. 78% reduction in the healthcare acquired infections, uh, an 83% reduction in C. diff, another infection, virulent infection, and a 68% reduction in drug resistant infections. In other words, bacteria that are resistant to the drugs. Powerful. The copper has also been shown in studies to be a powerful support system for the lymphatic system. This is something that Ayurveda talked about thousands of years ago. Copper helps to transport the, the, the um, the uh, chylomicrons and the cholesterol through the intestinal wall into the lymphatic system. And that's part of the support for delivering fats as energy and as immune support to every cell of your body. This is all that copper does, which is pretty powerful. Copper ions, what they do, these copper ions, they have a, uh, they, they, they're very antioxidant and they break down the, the cell wall of the virus or the bacteria. And they, once they get inside the cell, they're, they're, they're toxic to the genetic code inside the virus and they're done, or the bacteria is done. So it's a powerful thing. And then finally, I just wanna mention about the coronavirus. They did studies on viruses with copper. They did study on, on the, uh, the history of coronavirus, the, not this one, but the, 20, the 229E, the HNN1 virus, the SARS, the MERS, all those viruses were studied with copper, and they found that, it, that, that within just a few minutes of having that, that virus on the skin, skin contamination, within just a few minutes, the, um, the, the viruses were inactivated. And they, they, they measured the inactivation, and they, they described it as it destroyed the viral genomes. So the genomes, genetic material in the virus was destroyed. So, I know that it sounds crazy that we can scrape our tongue with a copper tongue scraper or soak water in a copper cup. And if you have a copper tongue scraper, I've talked about copper tongue scrapers for years. In fact, in 2013, I wrote an article called Copper is Back from the HNN1 virus and talked about how Ayurveda was like so ahead of the curve saying copper, 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 everything would be a way to help protect you from infections. And now we have hospitals lining their sheets with copper. Um, soon, I would imagine that all the metals in, in hospitals are going to be made of copper. 
probably a really good investment to invest in copper. Or at least break out the copper jewelry, break out your copper cups, and you can soak water. If you don't have a copper cup, you can take a, a, a penny even, it was just copper. It was before, before 1982, all the pennies were 100% copper or 98% copper. So you can soak that in water and drink that. Um, and just, you know, and, and again, I, I must say, I don't know that drinking copper water or scraping your tongue with copper or, or putting copper on your arm or bracelet is going to protect you from the infection. And maybe it's a little bit extreme. But I have to say, when you read this science, and it's, we're not talking one or two or three or four studies, we're talking about pages of studies in PubMed, pages of studies reporting on the benefits of copper as an antiseptic metal. You know, just imagine if our silverware was copper, we wouldn't have to wipe every piece of silverware down. Um, it, it, if, it's, if it's not something that will protect us today, it definitely will be something that if our, if our surfaces, desk surfaces, doorknobs, handles, all those are made of copper, we wouldn't have a lot of this spread, community spread that's taking place. And that's, that is hard science. I don't know that drinking copper water is gonna protect you, but it makes sense to me that if I've got copper in this water and I sip it when I'm out and about, um, that I'm gonna protect myself from that infection. I, like I said, I don't have the science to back up that drinking copper water made a difference. But what we do here at LifeSpot.com is we talk about ancient wisdom and, meta, and modern science. And there's a ton of ancient wisdom in Ayurveda about copper, copper tongue scrapers, copper jewelry. is like, you know, if we were in India right now, you could buy copper jewelry for so cheap because it's everywhere. And then, of course, drinking out of copper cup is a traditional ancient Ayurvedic practice. So there you have it. I don't know if it'll help but uh, for sure won't hurt. And, uh, and uh, it's something that has been practiced for thousands of years as a way to keep our traditional people healthy from infection. And somehow they knew um, things that we're only just beginning to understand now. All right, stay tuned and thanks for listening. And there's an article uh, about the copper that you can, you get just a link to this video that you can read the studies and get the science yourself. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Duyard. Do you like this video? Don't forget to subscribe and share. This recording is brought to you by Life Spa, where ancient Ayurvedic wisdom meets modern science. Get access to free health video newsletters by Dr. John at lifespa.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease.